Ford has just revealed its first ever electric pickup truck. It's called the Lightning. And it's an electric version of the F-150, which has been America's best-selling vehicle of the last 44 years. It'll be on sale next year, and it goes up against the Tesla Cybertruck, the Hummer EV, and the Rivian R1T. Anyway, I'm Matt Watson, and here are the car wow top 10 things you need to know about the new Ford F-150 Lightning. Buying a new car? Then head to Car Wow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. Car Wow your one-stop car buying comparison site. You might think the new F-150 Lightning's name is just a cheesy reference to the fact it's an EV, but it goes deeper than that. The first F-150 Lightning came out in the early 90s, but it wasn't an electric truck, obviously. It had a 240 horsepower, 5.8 litre V8. Ford made another Lightning in 1999 with a supercharged 5.4 litre V8, this time with up to 380 horsepower. But even though it doesn't have a V8, the new electric model will be much quicker than these trucks. But more on that later. How do you make it obvious that your pickup truck is electric and not powered by a petrol or diesel engine? Well, you get rid of the exhaust pipes for one thing. But Ford's also given the new Lightning a massive full-width daytime running light, just like the Mercedes EQC and Volkswagen ID3 have. It's added some new brake lights too and smoothed out the front grille. After all, this new truck doesn't have an engine, so it doesn't need to blow air over a huge radiator to keep everything cool. This helps make the new Lightning the most aerodynamic F-150 ever, although that's not saying much now, is it? Ford hasn't said how big the battery is going to be in the new Lightning, but it has confirmed there'll be a standard range model and an extended range version. The standard truck has 230 miles of range, which is less than the 250 miles you get in an entry-level Tesla Cybertruck and Hummer EV2. Go for an extended range model though, and you get 300 miles of claimed range. That's about the same as a dual motor Tesla Cybertruck and a Rivian R1T and the Hummer EV2X. But this all depends on how much stuff you're carrying in your pickup's load bed, doesn't it? After all, more weight means less range. So the Lightning has a load of sensors that can tell how much stuff it's actually carrying. So it can give you an idea of how this will affect your range. Then it can use this to plan a route to take you past the most suitable charging points. The new Lightning comes with dual motors. These are mounted at the front and the back and drive all four wheels as standard. Now you only get one motor and rear wheel drive in the cheapest Tesla Cybertruck. The standard range Lightning comes with 432 horsepower but the extended range model has 571 horsepower. That means it's got more power than a V8 version of the Ford Mustang, because that has 450 horsepower. But power is only half of the story, because both versions of the F-150 Lightning make a colossal 1,050 newton meters of torque. That's almost double the Mustang's 529 newton meters. This means the new Lightning is properly fast. Ford says it'll do 0 to 60 in the mid four second range. Although US President Joe Biden had a chance to drive a prototype and he accidentally let slip that the new truck will do 0 to 60 miles an hour in 4.3 or 4.4 seconds. Hmm, nice one, Joe. Thanks for the tip. That means that this Ford is slightly quicker than a dual motor Tesla Cybertruck, which does 0 to 60 miles an hour in 4.5 seconds. You can charge the electric F-150 using 150 kilowatt fast chargers, although that isn't particularly fast by today's standards. Take a mid-range Hummer EV, for example. That's compatible with 300 kilowatt chargers. But Ford says a 150 kilowatt charger can add up to 54 miles of range to your truck in about 10 minutes, so it's still pretty handy. And charging it from 15 to 100% using a Ford wall box installed in your house will take around 10 hours. Speaking of which, this wall box also lets you use the truck's batteries to power your house during blackouts. In fact, Ford says that a full charge can keep your house running for three days. And I'm not talking about charging your phone and turning on a few lights here and there. The truck's batteries can deliver 9.6 kilowatts of power, so you can keep the freezer running too. Ford says you can actually stretch the batteries to last up to 10 days if you're super careful and you ration your electricity usage. The new Lightning's frame is made out of the strongest steel Ford has ever built an F-150 out of. This means you can load up the bed with 907 kilograms of stuff without having to worry about bending anything. And unlike a normal F-150, the Lightning has something called a mega power frunk. Now this sounds like some 90s techno band, but it's actually a waterproof storage area underneath the bonnet that can hold 400 litres of luggage, weighing up to 181 kilos. It also has a built-in 2.4 kilowatt power outlet, so you charge your work tools while you're out and about. 
but a pickup truck has to be able to tow heavy stuff too. And the new electric F-150 can haul trailers weigh more than 4.5 tonnes. That's more than an F-150 with a 3.3 litre V6 petrol engine can manage. But it's some way off what the 3.5 litre EcoBoost V6 can pull. That truck has a 6.35 tonne towing limit. The Lightning towing capacity is also less than the electric Rivian R1T, which can tow almost five tonnes. Although Ford's probably just being a bit conservative here. After all, it once used an electric F-150 prototype to tow a train that weighed more than 450 tonnes. And like most pickup trucks, the F-150 Lightning doesn't have an old-fashioned rigid axle at the back. Instead, it has fully independent rear suspension, which should make it a bit more comfortable to drive on the road. And because its batteries are mounted in the floor, the Lightning has a lower centre of gravity than a normal petrol or diesel truck, so it should handle better as well. It also has plenty of underbody protection, so you don't have to worry about damaging the battery if you do lots of serious off-roading. But it's not all about cross-country trips through the wilderness, is it? The Lightning also comes with Ford's latest version of Blue Cruise, which actually sounds like some kind of porno on a boat. Anyhow, it's a driver assistance system, which is very similar to Tesla's autopilot. Now this can accelerate, brake and steer for you on certain roads and has built in automatic emergency braking and pedestrian detection. Although Ford has added a sensor on the dashboard that checks to make sure you're paying attention to the road. So no slacking off or watching car mode videos when you're driving, okay, that's, that's highly illegal and very, very dangerous. The new F-150 Lightning has a similar interior to the regular truck with one huge important difference. Yes, it's that moosive touch screen. The biggest screen you can get in the normal F-150 is 12 inches across, but the electric Lightning has a 15.5 inch portrait display with Ford's latest Sync 4A software. It looks pretty similar to the one you get in the Ford Mustang Mach-E, and it even has the same physical rotary dial in the middle. It gets Apple CarPlay and Android Auto so you can connect your phone easily, and the system is linked up with Amazon Alexa so you can understand commands spoken in plain English. You also get a 12-inch digital driver's display instead of old-fashioned analog dials, and you can even use your phone as a key to lock and unlock the truck. Ford has confirmed that the new F-150 will be compatible with over-the-air updates. This means Ford will be able to continuously tweak the car's software and upload this to your truck remotely using its built-in internet connection. Ford hasn't said exactly what it'll update, only that it'll constantly improve the F-150 Lightning over time, much in the same way that Tesla does, I guess. So, there's a chance Ford will roll out software updates that boost the truck's range and potentially its performance as well. The new Ford F-150 Lightning will go on sale in early 2022, but you can reserve one today. A commercial spec Lightning will set you back around $40,000, although that's before you apply any electric vehicle discounts offered in some US states. That's about $10,000 more than an entry-level petrol F-150 cost, and it's exactly the same as a single-motor Tesla Cybertruck. A mid-spec XLT truck with a bit more tech will cost just under $53,000, which is a few thousand dollars more than a dual-motor Cybertruck. Higher specification, Lariat and Platinum models will be more expensive again, but they'll probably still be cheaper than a Rivian R1T, which costs $67,500, or an entry-level Hummer EV, which costs almost $80,000. Only thing is, the Ford F-150 Lightning will not go on sale in the UK. Oh well.